So this whole thing about asking, because I'm, I'm generally in whale sheep is an important issue and quite rightly so. Um, often we get this issue about sheep and again it's this key issue of asking why are the incidents happening of sheep being chased, either killed or aborting their cattle, uh, <laughs> aborting, that would be an interesting sheep, aborting their lambs and this sort of thing. And just to touch on this question about why is it happening and who's doing it, because there's some very interesting stuff come out recently from a few bodies, including North Wales Police. And this was an incident down in um, Wiltshire, which got some publicity earlier in the year because the farmer was threatening to shoot any dog if it wasn't on a lead, irrespective of whether there were livestock in the field or not, which you now know isn't lawful. But, you know, he, the guy was really, really angry and he got lots of publicity and as I understand, a visit from the police because in respect of the sheep issue, talking about getting out with your gun when you couldn't use it didn't look particularly good. And when you look on the chap's Facebook page, which we blocked his name out because he was just trying to do the right thing. Again, he wasn't stupid. He was just reacting to the situation, but we know we can do things better. So this is what he put on his Facebook page. And this person also had a farm shop as well, which actually, because of the bad publicity, people stopped going to the farm shop as much. But he said, um, after the attacks, I put up signs and they get torn down. The issue is that some dog owners can't control their dogs. The sheep that were killed last night and at Christmas happened early in the morning. On previous cases when this happened, it was due to husky type dogs escaping from their garden. And in one case, when a dog owner just let the dog out at night, as you would a cat. So in terms of doing these signs and stuff about people out walking with their dogs, how much was that connected to what was happening here? Because what was the problem here, really? Yeah, and interestingly, the work that's been done by North Wales Police, because I was recently at a national conference um, speaking with them about this, that actually, in terms of the long term and the bigger impact effects, it's dogs that are straying and locals' dogs. Yes, some people out walking, if they don't know, uh, you c particularly if they're not expecting the livestock, uh, that can be an issue. But actually, they're saying, actually, one dog, when you look at the figures, one dog that's, and often people say, oh, well, he's a country dog, he's okay, and, you know, they're bumbling around the house, but actually, how do you know? Because you're not seeing the dog all the time. Um, and actually, the dog does it once, gets a taste for it, and repeatedly does it. So one dog with one irresponsible owner at a particular farm, or, you know, people move from uh, into the countryside and don't always realise that their dog will behave differently, actually ends up being a huge spike. Um, and so while we do need to help walkers with dogs, often they don't want hassle too. And, and when you speak to some of them, it's like, geez, it happened once, I really don't want to happen again. The real worrying thing is where it's happening and the owner doesn't know. And this is really it's quite interesting, the, the shift. Um, so actually, so I'm saying that the big picture, and this is not just me saying it, but what North Wales Police were saying, because traditionally they didn't record the detail, or even if they did record the detail, nobody was asking why is it happening. Um, and North Wales Police are doing th this now, and uh, your local constabulary might be doing this as well. But they say, and actually the National Farmers Union as well, saying the same. Um, I haven't had the figures from NFU Cymru, but I would guess they're the same, that straying and latchkey dogs are the most frequent cause of sheep worrying, particularly the most frequent cases. And actually the, d the concern for dog owners as well is that usually these dogs that are straying means they're actually not often getting the right veterinary care. They're not, you know, the people might have made a really bad choice. They might have been sold a dog by uh, a puppy farmer who will sell. This is a problem at the moment. People saying, oh, well, great, you know, we'll get one of these husky dogs because it looks cute without understanding the, 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 the exercise requirements. Responsible breeders won't be selling them to, to that or less likely, but puppy farmers will sell a dog to anybody. So you can see how it fits into the bigger picture. And so this is why asking why. So, is it, so when you've got your issues, is it walkers or is it local people? Because if you're put in saying, oh, let's do lots of different signage, you might not be dealing with the issue, and it might be one or two local people that you either need to prosecute or issue with a community protection notice to say your dog's got to stay on your land, and if it's off your land, it's got to be on a lead. Um, so again, it's a really serious issue, but if we just react and, and try and say, oh, it's walkers or it's visitors or whatever, actually, we need the evidence to see what, what happens.